Hi friends, in order to continue with our spring batch tutorial series, in previous video we have learned what exactly the batch programming is and what are the use cases where being used. So today we will going to learn how the batch programming works. So let's take one example which we talked in previous video. We talk about in banking domain where we need some data from other system to another system. So let's say there is one source and one target. We need some information from the source system to target system or vice versa. There might be a huge case where you have some file and you want to read this file and insert some data into your database. In between, you might need some processing on top of the data. You don't want the data as is where it's available in the source system while dumping in the target system. So here we need to introduce some transformation that is called processing. After do some processing, we can store the data back to the target system. Here in this case, source might have some file and target might some database. In the other example, the source might be a database. You might need some information from somewhere else that is coming as a form of file and you want to insert the data into the database. So vice versa. So either you want to store something in your database which is coming from somewhere else in form of file or you want to push back your data from your DB in form of some file or you want to read some data from the one DB and store into the other DB. So any combination is possible here. There might some other use cases as well. You might generate some lot of message that message you want to send someone else in form of email or SMS or some other form. In that case some JMS service might come into the picture in form of target. Here you might push a lot of data and the data has to go somewhere else in form of some messages or something. So source could be anything, target could be anything, a lot of fermentation combination we can introduce here. But the motto is we read something, we write something. These two basic things must be there, right? Either we are doing from here to there or there to here source to target or target to source but we are doing this operation in the same way. So this is the batch programming model how the batch programming is works. So now there is uh, no question how to achieve this this architecture in form of coding or something. So there are a couple of ways either you can use some Unix script to read the data and write somewhere else. In Unix script you can write anything, right? That is not a big deal. You can use Python script, you can do this, the same thing. Or you can use Java program, traditional Java program, right? Where you can read the file or read the database or anything. Or you can use any of the languages which are available in the market. You can use .NET, PHP, you can use Scala or any language. No matter which language you are using. You can achieve the same thing. So now question is why Spring Batch? In the next video we will learn how Spring Batch is really power, powerful to achieve this thing. How it's different than traditional approaches and what are the advantages you are going to get in Spring Batch. So in this video we learn this uh, architecture and model and how exactly the batch processing is work, right? So please uh, do like if you would like the video and uh, in next video we will learn about little bit spring batch. Thanks for watching the video. Please do like and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to not miss any future notifications.